I'm so glad you're back. And today we're going to talk about divine abundance. Awesome. Man, we need it right now with this inflation and the craziness. We need it. And you know what? There was that video you showed about the metal, the, the bullet disappearing yeah. in yeah. that man's leg, which yeah. was an amazing creative miracle. <laughs> I love that. I love all that kind of stuff. But I was thinking about when I was watching, I was like, God, you work metal miracles. And it was like a boom. Like all of a sudden I realized just as quickly as he can take metal away, he can also oh, wow. bring finance, favor, an abundance of metal, silver, gold. gold. Oh my gosh. And then all of a sudden it popped in my mind. This just happened like sitting on the set. Wow. Popped in my mind that testimony in Matthew where Jesus told the people, you go down the first fish that you catch, yep. you pull you, you you catch it, there's gonna be a gold coin, or not a gold coin, but a metal coin yeah. inside of the fish's mouth, and you use it to pay your taxes and mine. Come on. So as quickly as he can take away metal, he can also yes. bring metal. Oh my gosh, I received Precious that. metals, yeah. Oh my gosh. So Lord, we thank you thank that you Jesus. are the God of abundance. God, I thank you that you work in creative, financial miracles. And Lord, we give you permission today to do whatever it is that you desire to do and to release your abundance in your oh life God. as as in our lives as we're open to receive it in Jesus Whoa. mighty name. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Wow. You know the Bible says that there's an end time transference wow. that's coming to the people of God. Come on. Katie, it's going to be a supernatural thing. Wow. This is not something that we can muster up in our own strength or develop through our own natural abilities, although God will lead us, you know, to create businesses and God will lead us to to new financial strategies but the truth is at the end of the day it's going to be a supernatural thing that Come happens on. right we can only do so much right? right we can only work so hard do so many projects yeah we can only do our best but we need yeah. God to breathe on it and he wants to he wants to yes he totally wants to and I I remember in the early days of our ministry and even our marriage Janet and I we were living in San Diego at the time and we had like no money. Yeah. I mean, we just didn't. Right. Everything that came into our hands, we just spent it on the ministry and doing what we were called to do. Yeah. And I remember going to church on, um, I, I believe it was a Thursday night, and we sowed in that meeting, and I think we sowed basically the the rest of what we had. Right. We may, maybe had $15, $20 right. left in our bank account. And I remember after the meeting, a friend came up to me and said, hey, do you have any change for extra change for me to get a soda out of the soda machine? And out of instinct, I reached my hand into my pocket to tell him, sorry, Paul, I don't have any change, but I felt paper money inside my pocket. Oh. And I thought, wow, this is amazing. I must have a dollar in here. So I went to pull it out. When I pulled it out, it was a $100 bill. Oh my gosh. Katie, when you don't have money, yeah. You don't forget about leaving a hundred dollars in your That's pocket right. or just like a hundred dollars laying around. No, we knew exactly how much money we had or how much money we didn't have. Right. And God, I know that God put that money oh my gosh. in my pocket. Thank I you, don't know Lord. how he did it. I don't know how he does a lot of things that he does, wow. but he, if God can translate and transport people, yeah. flesh and blood people, yes. it should be no problem for him to translate <laughs> supernatural finances transport it into our lives. Right. And he does it in all different kinds of ways. I remember praying for a couple over in New Zealand who needed $700 to pay their bills by Monday. And we prayed and we believed with them. I think it was a Saturday night. And on Sunday when they went home from church, there was a, an envelope on their doorstep that had $900 in it. It was not only enough to meet their oh needs, gosh. it was enough for them to tithe on oh it. My God. And enough for them to, I mean, just, have supernatural abundance. Oh, and you know, I don't know how God does that. Maybe God moved upon a, the hearts of a, a person right. to bring that money. <clears throat> right. It could have also been angels ministering. Right. I don't know how God does this, but what I do know is that we serve the God of abundance. Yes. He promises to take care of his children. Oh, he gosh. actually tells us if if I take care of the birds and that don't have to worry about what they're gonna eat or or where they're gonna live, if I if I have these beautiful flowers growing in the Feels that they don't spin and toil and worry right? about oh how God. they're going to survive. How much more is right. he willing to provide for us, his children? No doubt. Yeah. I love that story. And in the Amplified, where you know they're going out and the and the five thousand people are out, and there's you know the one loaf yes. of bread and the yes. one and the and the fish, right? And then there's this multiplication, right? And I love how <laughs> the disciples looked to Jesus and they said, you know, we're in a dry, desolate place <laughs> with nothing. 
you know, maybe we should send them home. Yeah. But in yeah. the dry, desolate place yeah. that we're, a lot of us are in right now, that dry, desolate place, and with the inflation and the economy going crazy, that's where God does the multiplication. And exactly. like you said, we don't know how he does it, but we yeah. know that, that, that things like bread just popped out of nowhere. Yeah. He is the Lord of the multiplication. He's yeah. the Lord of the harvest. The Bible calls right. him Lord of the harvest. And that means so many different things. But I think, you know, one of the most important things to recognize is that he is provider. God is a generous God. Thank and you. he desires to bless his children. You, Psalm 35 yes, says God. God takes pleasure in the mm. prosperity of his servants. Now, if God takes pleasure in his servant's prosperity, how much wow. more the prosperity of his sons and his daughters, yes. his children. I mean, I know I don't want to see my children in lack. I don't want to see my children suffering in any kind of way, spirit, soul, or, or physical. Mm. And in the same way, how much more does God want to take care of us in an abundance of spiritual yes. blessing, emotional blessing, but even physical reality, financial blessing. Yes. Well, yeah. the Bible says we'll never lack bread, right? His children right. Never, never lack bread. Well, you know, bread is food, yes. but it's also, you know, we used to call money bread too. It's so true. I can't, why we, Where's the we, dough, Joe? All right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Are we putting the word bread into a box? I mean, yeah. God wants to supply for everything we need. Yeah. All our needs, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, I love this. He's, you wrote this divine, um, seven divine mysteries, supernatural secrets to unlimited abundance. And you put a study guide with it. Wow, I mean, I think this is something we all need to look at and to study yeah. and to, to soak in in this hour more than ever. The reason why I wrote this book, Seven Divine Mysteries, yep. Supernatural Secrets to Unlimited Abundance, because what we need right now is unlimited abundance. Yeah. All around us, we continue to, the news continues to report economic instability. Yes. The news continues to report there's going to be a shortage of this or a shortage of that. Right. And so it's like, where do we go when shortage is happening, when things mm. are unstable, when f finances are failing us? No. Where do we go? Something that we have learned as believers is that Jesus is our answer for every problem that we're yeah, facing. Right. Jesus is all sufficient supply. In him, we find everything that we need. Yes. And the truth is it starts out spiritually. You know, mm. this is a spiritual principle yep. that our God's a God of provision. And Jesus Christ came to save us spiritually. But I love that word sozo because it's not just about spiritual salvation, right. but the word salvation, which is comes from the word sozo, right. it literally means salvation for spirit, soul, and body. Yeah. God takes care of all three parts of us, not he just does. our spirit. He absolutely does. <clears throat> yes. And people who would say, well, you know, Joshua, Katie, you're preaching a greedy gospel. You're talking about materialism. Mm -mm. No, we're, we're not talking about that. What we're talking about is having what we need to do what God has called us to do. Yeah. Would God ask us to do something? Would God call you to a ministry or would God ask you to do something specific without also having the privilege? the provision for you to do it? Yeah, no. No. And the thing is, if you could do it on your own, guys, then it wouldn't be God. There would yes. be no testimony of the glory of God manifesting in your life to empower you to do the very mission that he called you to do. So God, he, you know, what, you know, they said, well, what he tells you to do, he pays for, right? Yes. So, and, and even in this dark hour, that's why I love like Isaiah 60, how it says a deep darkness will be over the earth and over the people. <laughs> and we're feeling it. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. But the light of God, the glory of God will rise and shine yes. on us and nations yes. will come to our light and they'll bring their treasures to our light. I mean, the whole yes. chapter is about an in flooding of yep. financial blessings in the middle of deep darkness. And that's what we're experiencing right yes. now. Yes. And that's the encounter or the impartation that we're inviting you to experience you, in your home, in your business, in your workplace, wherever you are right now, there is more than enough supply available. It's not just enough. It's not just like, oh God, just going to give me just what I need. No, the Bible says he's a God of abundance. That's more than enough. So get ready for the overabundance of God, the super abundant <laughs> blessing of God right. to fill your life. Now I want to differentiate guys. This isn't hype. We're not hyping something. This is using the word of God as our, as the way for us to increase our faith. And then in response to our faith, these truths that are in the Bible about abundance will begin to be transmitted and translated to us. Yes, right? absolutely.